This video provides guidance for responding to emergencies in the modern biology laboratory. It is intended to supplement the formal instruction provided in each institution and each laboratory. It is not a substitute for a safety training program or an emergency response plan. In a modern biology laboratory, as in any workplace, there is always the potential for a mishap. How to deal with emergencies is planned for by the institution. It is up to each laboratory worker to be familiar with the appropriate response. Should things go wrong, do you know what to do and how to do it? Dr. Michael Rosbash saw things go very wrong when his wife and colleague knocked over both Bunsen burner and an alcohol dish. The stool stopped suddenly and she sort of slipped on the, uh, on the chair, at, at which point her waist, the edge of the bench, and the alcohol all met simultaneously. The alcohol rolled off the bench, soaked her, her, her lab coat and waistline, and then ignited. The next extinguisher that we're going to talk about is the ABC fire extinguisher or the dry chemical fire extinguisher. It's used on all three classes of fire, the class A wood paper, the class B boiling liquid, and the class C electrical fires. It has a There's no substitute for preparation and training. Fire extinguishers should only be used by trained personnel, and the fire department should always be called first. It also leaves a residue on the container, which prevents a flashover from occurring once you've extinguished the fire. Back and forth, back and forth. 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 Back and In case of a major fire, each laboratory worker should be prepared to take immediate action. Attend to injured persons and remove them from further harm. Alert people in the immediate area to evacuate. Activate the nearest fire alarm or call the emergency response number. Close doors to confine the fire. Evacuate to a safe area or exit the building. Do not use the elevator. Have a person knowledgeable of the incident and laboratory assist the emergency personnel. Do you know how to handle a radiation spill? Hey, I dropped a hot tip. Personal safety comes first. The next order of business is to identify the extent of the spill. It's crucial to prevent spilled material from being tracked to other areas. Otherwise, a small cleanup may turn into a big project. That's useful guidance for any kind of spill. Randy knows that this is a minor spill, one that he is trained to clean up himself. But if he had any doubt, he would call the safety office. Of course, all radioactive waste goes into a proper container. A high phosphate solution aids the cleanup. The process must be repeated until no significant radiation is detected. How do you deal with a chemical spill?
cleaning up even a minor chemical spill should be done only by knowledgeable and trained personnel, since an incorrect procedure could cause further harm. A laboratory spill kit should include absorbents, reactants, and protective equipment, as well as instructions. Gretchen uses absorbent pads to soak up the phenol. Repeated washing with detergent solution will assure complete removal. Containment also means providing a good seal for the disposal bag. And don't forget to label it. And what about a biological spill? A biological spill in a BSL-2 facility can be cleaned up by the laboratory worker using precautions. A 1 in 10 dilution of household bleach will disinfect the area. Allow 20 minutes for the bleach to inactivate infectious materials. If there is any evidence of a spill in a centrifuge, close the lid and allow at least 30 minutes for any aerosol to settle. Spray with detergent disinfectant and then wipe down with alcohol. A spill of an airborne pathogen, like Mycobacterium tuberculosis, calls for extreme caution. Hold your breath leave the laboratory immediately and remove protective clothing in the anteroom. The laboratory should not be re-entered for at least 30 minutes. Cleanup should be left to safety personnel. Cleanup of any major spill should be left to safety and emergency personnel but laboratory personnel must take some immediate action. Attend to injured persons and remove them. Alert others in the laboratory to evacuate. If the spill is radioactive, avoid tracking material and monitor all personnel. Call the emergency response number. Close doors. Assist emergency personnel. What do you do if you or someone else is injured? Chris, help! Chris, I spoke chemicals. Chris, got what happened to you? Take your shirt off. Get it off. The most important treatment for chemical spills is immediate and extensive rinsing. Contaminated clothing should be removed promptly. Minor cuts and puncture wounds should be washed vigorously for several minutes. In fact, any exposure or potential exposure to foreign agents should be treated with generous rinsing. In case of a radiological spill, wash carefully to avoid spreading to other parts of your body. A biological spill requires vigorous washing with soap and water. And splashes of hazardous materials to the eye call for continuous rinsing for 15 minutes. Cuts and puncture wounds, as well as eye splashes, should be given medical attention. And any exposure or injury should be reported to your supervisor. Solvent fires, the type most likely to be encountered in the laboratory, are best extinguished by smothering, since using water tends to spread the burning solvent. 
No one intends to have an accident, but everyone can plan their response to one. Know what to do and how to do it. It could save a life someday. The only kinds of things you can do is make sure that everyone in the lab is conscious of those possibilities which are foreseeable. And in a more general sense, um, make everyone conscious that they are their brother's keeper. I mean, there's, there's a little, that, that, that psychological issue arose to some extent. That is, pay attention to your neighbors. If they're doing something that's unwise, let them know. Uh, keep, keep the corner of your sort of eye open at what's going on. New students, new postdocs, uh, what they're up to. Uh, and, and uh, you know, their, their, their health is your health and vice versa.